today, I decided to embark on this journey to a village called Olorosogo, which lies in the heart of Ogun State, around Abelkuta. I shall be spending seven days in this village that reminds me of the ancient Bini mud plastered houses. My first trip is to this young man that is running a barber's shop in a mud house redecorated with cotton. So I like doing balloons and so this is my shop. And I want the support from Central Foundation. Um shop we build them finally no man is alarming shop we have coffee finally we will support him. But me mind you you mind the thing settle Foundation, so we need to talk and then this place. Yeah. 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 So same here. He was trying to narrate his ordeal to me that when it gets rain, uh, the ceilings get wet and water. It's usually pouring into the shop, very ceilings, and even the walls were constructed with cotton paper. I'm with and my wallow. I find this very interesting, very very interesting. The baby shop, and, and I tell you, this is one of the African youths that is serious about making a living in the right way. So we are going to try to see what we can do to support him. To start with, I think the frontage is what we are going to work on so that we can see how we can reshape the front so that it can attract customers. Then little by little as the foundation gets formed, we will see what we can do inside. Because I, it will be nice if this place have a well decorated inside. I'm showing you the other businesses that you can introduce as well, like female and Makeup shop and likes. So, what will you say to Cetrus Foundation? Thank you, Cetrus Foundation. You're welcome. So, the following day, we decided to embark on a kind of carpentry expedition. <laughs> we actually went into the forest to go and fetch some bamboos which we intend to use in constructing uh, maybe four to five seater uh, bench and four pieces of such so that by the time the youths come in the evening they can have a place to catch some fresh air and discuss along with me where I'll be, I shall be asking them what they want to learn. I came across this water and I tell you the water was so dirty I couldn't put my hand into this particular one and I was told that they drink from this water and they sometimes, most times, take their bits in that same water. I call it a river. So I couldn't touch much of it because it's not, it wasn't looking interesting to me. Okay. and. Uh, 
Talking of bamboos, I was asking this young man some questions about the bamboos, and this is where we are fetching the bamboos that we are going to be using for the construction of our natural-looking bench or seat or whatever we can call it. Uh -huh. I was asking if they can get bush meat for us. I will buy it. Okay, so this is where we have our four sets. This young boy is very, very strong, and I was very happy when I discovered that he's also learning fashion right there in the village. It, even the dress he's putting on was made by him and though it has little corrections here and there which I identified out to him but I'm so happy that at least he's doing something worthwhile so he's the one helping us to fetch the bamboo and you can see the big size bamboo that I'm carrying <laughs> never mind me okay we had a village um, carpenter we had a village carpenter that volunteered to do this free, as in free, not collecting a dime from us. But um, I wasn't going to let him just go like that. I gave him about uh, three, is it, was it 3,000 naira or so? But I know that what, is, what we gave him was just less than five dollars. And I was so, so, so happy that we can still have people like this. He helped us in setting up the benches, the bamboo seats, you know, uh, four different, at uh, four different corner. That's maybe six to eight youths can sit down on this. And guess what? The youth showed up is on this bench that they are going to be telling me what they would love to learn as craft. From Olanshogo village in Nigeria, we want to say thank you Sando Foundation. This is my story, just loading. Watch out for the next episode of what we were able to achieve in Olorun Shogo village. Thank you. Bye bye. If you like this video, kindly like, subscribe, and share.